most powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. Jody, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. I just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you, loved you, tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody... Why should I listen to you? You work for them! And you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. I know nothing anymore. We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base, located in the province of Hailangjiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the infraworld. That means they found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and the other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Well, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infraworld and to make sure that no one will try to use it against us. Well, I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. 
The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the Infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. Good to see you. Fuck you, Ryan. So you're still angry then? You really think that you can just come back here and pretend like nothing happened? Jody, I... Shh. Don't talk. So you won't have to lie. Right. Tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time who do you work for? Where are you? It's completely deserted! You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. It's getting worse! What do we do now? Uh, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? Find somewhere we can hide. There's a house over there. Got it. Let's go. Damn fishing village! Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days walking on ice, eating snow, for nothing. 
fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! Then I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up! You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? Well, she's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Genius. <laughs> Give me five, Vince. Did you see that, Jody? Yeah. That's great work, guys. Did you get a connection? No, it's gonna take some time with the storm. You're still angry with me, huh? Look, it, it probably won't make you change your mind, but I regret what happened. You're right. It doesn't make me change my mind. I'm gonna go out. I'm desperate for a pee. Don't go too far, okay? It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. On the main road. A convoy of armored cars. They drove right by me. Did they see you? No. No, I don't think so. Let's roll. Let's follow them!
Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. Loading crates into into submarines. Submarines. That means the rift is it's underwater. I mean, they must have a, a base down there, and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell Iden to take them out. Iden. What do we do now? Just give me a second, okay? I've piloted a sub like this on the CIA simulator. I mean, maybe we can use it. Yeah, sure, let's use their sub. They won't notice anything. I'm looking for a plan, not a way to commit suicide. What exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well, maybe not. But that fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about us? It's a two -seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick. Give me the explosives. You do realize we might not make it back alive, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I've known that from the start. Keep diving. The base shouldn't be far. I am impressed. Few men would have heard that for so long. Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades' pain. My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and how you learn of the existence of this base. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. Just say nothing, you hear me? I'm going to ask the same questions over and over again until you answer them. What is your name? That looks painful. All you have to do is answer, and your comrade will not suffer anymore. Still won't answer? What do I have to do to make you speak? Perhaps you will not remain silent if I go a little further. This is so unnecessary. You only have to answer and this nightmare will come to an end. Answer, I beg you. I hate to see people suffer for nothing. An urgent request demands my attention. 
I shall return soon to continue our conversation. <laughs> Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. 